यार एक कोला देना यार ये क्या कोला है कैंपा नाउ द ड्रिंक्स मार्केट इज डोमिनेटेड बाय टू ब्रांड्स नॉट ओनली इन इंडिया वर्ल्ड वाइड पेप्सी एंड कोक इट्स अ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपी मार्केट एंड वेन एवर यू थिंक ऑफ कोला यू थिंक ऑफ दीज टू ब्रांड्स बट दे थर्ड ब्रांड Campa Cola. It's 23 years old. Maybe you've not heard of it. If you have, give a shout out in the comments below. I certainly remember hearing it and drinking it. It's coming back thanks to Reliance. But the question is, even with Reliance in such a nice brand, how can an old company like Campa try to even think of competing with Coke and Pepsi? Actually, they have a special talwar, and we'll discuss that in today's video. Now before we understand how Campa Cola can actually dominate the Coke and Pepsi cola market let's understand a little bit about the history of soft drinks so we first start in 1949 1949 is when Parley Cola was introduced you probably have not heard of it i certainly didn't until we actually were researching this but at the same time coke was also launched This started the cola industry in our country but something happened in 1977 India changed its laws not allowing foreign companies to operate fully which meant that they had to dilute their stake and foreign companies could not operate in the country which meant coke left the country and this meant local brands such as limka thumbs up and even campa cola started doing really well because there was no other option and between 1949 and 1977 people had got a taste of soft drinks especially cola flavored drinks then something interesting happened in 1993 we had post liberalized india which basically meant that any company could come to the country and start investing if you look the stock market also started booming at that time What an interesting time that was around 1991 but in 1993 is when an interesting move happened at that time guess who came back <laughs> coke was back but this time coke said what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some purchases i'm going to do some shopping i'm going to buy all the parley brands so there was limka there was thumbs up there was also gold spot remember gold spot they actually went out and bought all of these brands Now what happens when a big player comes starts advertising like crazy ek coke dena thanda matla coca cola thandi ka tadka you get companies like coke becoming almost 60% plus of market share and when we say market share it's like a pie right it's like a pizza ki someone if someone gains a lot of market share the other players lose market share so guess who lost you got all these companies over here that actually lost it went down so campa started losing market share limka thumbs up etc because the focus now became coke but campa was still existing it just that less people used it the distribution was less the usage was less and coke and pepsi started dominating Along with Campa there was another brand which still existed but wasn't doing that well right so over here we have Campa and we also had another brand called Socio If anyone's heard of Socio please comment me batao I had never heard of this Gujarat based brand but it was truly very popular local people loved it aaj bhi people drink Socio but maine kabhi suna nahi tha ye so if you heard Tell me in the comments below. But basically, this is what happened in 1993. Markets opened up. Foreign companies were coming to the country. Stock markets were booming. And within that, the software industry, Coke started buying Limka, Thumbs Up, Cold Spot, all the Parley brands for the 60 million dollars. Campa and Socio, they were there, but they were like zombies. They weren't really growing as much as the other guys. They didn't have the firepower of distribution and advertising that Coke did. In fact, in 1999. Pepsi also came so the war became even more intense and think about it this is when India was dreaming to become like the west 
मॉल्स आ रहे थे मूवीज आ रहे थे पीपल वर गोइंग आउट फास्ट फूड बिकेम अ थिंग सो द इंडिया डेमोग्राफिक द यंगर इंडिया वॉज पुशिंग दिस द सोसाइटी वॉज चेंजिंग एंड सो वर दीज फॉर्चून ऑफ दीज ब्रांड्स अब देखो सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक इंडस्ट्री इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इंडस्ट्री यू बेसिकली नीड टू थिंग्स टू एक्चुअली डोमिनेट दिस एंड आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया इट्स वर्ल्ड वाइड लाइक सर्च फॉर कोला वॉर्स ऑनलाइन एंड यूल सी क्रेजी स्टोरीज इन द यू एस अबाउट इट सेम थिंग हैपन यर टू मोड्स द फर्स्ट मोड एंड लेट मी राइट ओवर हियर कोक एंड पेप्सी एंड लेट मी टेल यू दीज टू मोड्स आर वन इज ब्रांड Now, brand me, I will add advertising power. Most people can't build a brand without spending on advertising. Of course, there are some exceptions, but in most cases, especially soft drinks, brand advertising requires lots of money, fire power, and that's one mode. The other mode is distribution. So, if any of you have ever tried to sell a new product online, product तो बहुत बढ़िया है, but no one knows it exists. Have you ever seen an advertisement of something you liked, but then when you went to the local store, वो चीज मिली ही नहीं? I'm talking about the pre-Amazon, pre-Flipkart era, maybe 15 years ago. I faced it when I saw a new advertising of Kit Kat Orange. I don't know if you remember this. I went to the local store to buy it. कहीं मिला ही नहीं. And because of that, kick. maybe kit kat orange didn't do well now of course in today's world you can just order it online but distribution is very very important think about where india is spending is everyone spending online absolutely not they're going to a physical store and purchasing so distribution is really important so agar iski baat kiya jaye brand mein coke and pepsi have a budget of 900 plus crore and distribution they had almost i have over here 6 million retail stores that means 60 lakh stores is number ko zara socho they're manufacturing water with fizz and lots of sugar which we called cola <laughs> and they're distributing it to 60 lakh outlets ab compare socio uh, socio they had what um, 90000 90000 so to not even 1 lakh so think Um, this is why Coke and Pepsi were able to dominate. But things will change now. Mota Bhai is here. Reliance. Now Reliance has purchased Campa and Socio. Remember, Socio is a hundred-year-old brand. Campa is also a very old brand. See this acquisition from the perspective of the moats that these businesses have. Like the software, uh, sorry, the soft drink industry has. You have brand and distribution. एक एक करके जाते हैं. तो now how will Reliance compete? तो I'll try to make a Reliance logo here. I think that's what it looks like. Let's assume this is R. Okay, this is Reliance का logo. What can that look like? I'll draw in let's say orange. So the first question is distribution. So distribution, I have a lot of numbers over here. Um, Jio ka brand, Reliance ka brand has three ways. One is Jio Mart, which is the online version, uh, which has five million active users. मतलब पचास लाख. तो let's start with that. Fifty lakh users online. That's the first way they can distribute. The second way is that they have access to five million retail stores. So five million मतलब पचास लाख. So that this is additional fifty lakh. retail stores now what's interesting is that they don't own these stores they've partnered different stores across the country much like what coke and pepsi have done 15000 retail stores now this may be interesting because these are 15000 sounds like a small number but they own this store now when you own a store you can push a product and you own um, shelf space shelf space is very difficult when i give it to a retail store he can keep my cola or my product somewhere far away from the eyes of the consumer but when you own these stores you can create um, awareness within that store itself now question for you put in the comments do you think reliance can match the distribution coke and pepsi has for campa cola with these distribution methods I think the answer is quite obvious, but put it in the comments below. Next question is brand. I think owning a hundred euro brand is cool, yar. It's kind of like how Hero now owns Harley in India. 
Hale is a great brand. Hero now owns it. I bet you didn't know that. But they own a brand. They have to figure out distribution and marketing, etc. So anyway, uh, let's come back to Campa Cola and Socio. So brand to hai. Socio is very regional because it's Gujarat. Campa, I think everyone in the country knows. If you know, put it in the comments as well. Let's understand how can they further do a brand reach. So let's assume this is a money game. Okay. Do you think Reliance can spend more than 900 crores in ads and brand-related stuff over here? Hmm. If you look at Reliance's balance sheet, I think they can. So I'll say that he'll be able to possibly match this in marketing. Now, did Reliance announce this number? No, I am assuming that they can. I'd love to know your opinion on this. Do you think that they can uh, match this brand? Now, the question is, could have any other company brought these two companies back and fought with Coke and Pepsi? I don't think so, man. I think Reliance is one of the few conglomerates which could have actually pulled this shit out. And they did. They've actually taken a rabbit out of the bag with distribution and brand. Now the question is, when I go to a fast food restaurant, when I go to Big Bazaar or anywhere else, and you choose and you're looking at soft drinks, and you also see Campa, will you pick it up and put it in your lottery bag? Take it outside and check it out? Or will you try it once and forget? I don't have the answers to this. But this was interesting. If you found it interesting, tell me in the comments below whether we should do more stories like this or not. And if you found this nice, give a like, give a subscribe, share it on social and tag me, tag LearnApp. And I'll see you in the next video.